welcome to today's special edition of Business and Beyond. I'm Wayne Stofsky. Tenant in Common, or TIC Ownership, offers real estate investors the opportunity to invest in a single property with multiple parties. In 2002, an IRS revenue procedure seemed to expand the ability of investors to allow 1031 exchanges to be used with TIC investments. Here to talk to us about the benefits of 1031 and TIC investments is Dan Worry, Managing Director of 1031 and TIC Investments, LLC, and his partner, Padma Chintapali, Principal of 1031 and TIC Investments, LLC, a branch office of Omni Brokerage, Inc., a nationwide brokerage firm specializing in 1031 tenant-in-common replacement properties. We will also be speaking with Jim Vogt, a real estate investor and current client of 1031 and TIC Investments and Omni Brokerage, Inc. Welcome, everyone. Hello, Wayne. It is good to be here. Dan, what are the benefits of owning a TIC investment? TIC investments allow investors to own undivided fractional interest in a property. Each co-owner receives a deed for their percentage ownership interest, and they enjoy the financial benefits that a single property owner enjoys. TICs expand an investor's options, giving them access to institutional-grade properties that would otherwise be out of financial reach. Professionally managed, they are ideal for investors who wish to defer capital gains using a 1031 exchange and own property without the management headaches. You mentioned a lot of attractive investment benefits. What would you say are the important aspects that every investor should know? Well, it's important to realize that TSE investments are not suitable for all investors. The investments are not without risk. It is still real estate, which is cyclical by nature. It is generally dependent on appropriate structuring and management to have the greatest likelihood to perform up to expectations. In addition, these real estate investments are not designed for a quick resale. Investors must be prepared to have their funds invested for four to nine years or more. Holding the real estate for this length of time may allow the investors to recoup the transaction costs that are financed into the investment. And lastly, there may be tax risk if the IRS were to change the favorable capital gains tax treatment. So you assist your clients in making their decision when purchasing TIC investment properties? Yes, TIC due diligence and analysis is critical to an appropriate investment decision. The due diligence we provide allows our clients to select from an inventory of properties, which also helps to facilitate a smooth 1031 exchange. How many properties does your firm have access to? Our clients and properties are located nationwide. We consistently have access to 25 to 35 properties for our investors to choose from. Having an extensive choice helps our clients find properties that better fit their needs. Jim, how long have you been utilizing 1031 and TIC investment services? I've been working with Dan and his staff for the last several months. My wife and I sold an apartment complex that we had owned for over 30 years. We were looking for a tax-deferred investment in real estate that would include management services by others. After seriously considering more than 10 properties, 1031 and TIC investments helped us select two that were well diversified in terms of geographic location, property type, and management skills provided. In your opinion, what sets them apart from other firms specializing in TIC and 1031 real estate properties? They use a non-aggressive approach to investing. We feel that their research is more thorough than some of the others we visited with. Dan also personally visited the properties that he recommended to us and even arranged for me to visit two of them. For more information on TICs and 1031 real estate investments, call 1031 and TIC investments at 1-800-454-1031 and visit them online at www.1031ticinvest.com. And finally, as with all investments, past performance is not indicative of future results. And the client that joined us today does not necessarily represent the service experience from each client of the company.